In this video tutorial, we're going to talk about how to find the nth term of an arithmetic sequence. So let's work on this problem. Consider the arithmetic sequence 5, 11, 17, 23, 29, and so forth. What is the value of the 12th term of the sequence? So let's rewrite the sequence first. a1 is the first term, a sub 2 is the second term, a sub 3 is the, the third term, and so forth. Now, notice that the numbers are increasing by 6. If we add 6 to 11, it will give us the next term of the sequence, which is 17. So this is the common difference d. We need that in order to find the value of the 12th term. Now the formula that we're going to use is this equation. a sub n is equal to a sub 1 plus n minus 1 times d. So we want to find the 12th term. So n is 12. a sub 1, the first term is 5. And the common difference in this example is 6. 12 minus 1 is 11. 11 times 6 is 66, plus 5 is 71. So that is the value of the 12th term. And we could check our answer to make sure that we have the right answer. If we were to continue the sequence, the next number will be 35. And then if we add 6 to that, it's going to be 41, then 47, 53, 59, 66, and then that's supposed to be 65, and then 71. So this would be the fourth term, the fifth term, the sixth term, this is the ninth term, and the last one is the twelfth term, if you count it. And so we could see that we do have the right answer. So that's how you could find the nth term of an arithmetic sequence, is by using this formula. All you need to know is the first term and the common difference, and then you could find any term in that sequence. Now let's work on another problem that is related to the topic. If the third term and the seventh term of an arithmetic sequence is 17 and 45 respectively, what is the value of the 14th term? So let's write down what we know. We know that the third term is equal to 17 and the seventh term is equal to 45. What is the value of the 14th term. That's what we're trying to do in this problem. Well, let's say this is the third term, the fourth term, the fifth term, the sixth term, and the seventh term. To go from the third to the fourth term, we need to add one common difference. To go from the fourth to the fifth, we need to add another common difference. And then Note that we need to add four common differences to go from the third term to the seventh term because seven minus three is four. So understanding that will help us to find a common difference easily. We could say that the seventh term is equal to the third term plus four common differences. The seventh term is 45. The third term is 17. So now we can solve for D. Subtracting both sides by 17, let's see, 45 minus 17, that's 28. And that's going to equal 4D. So if we divide both sides by 4, we can see that the common difference is 7 in this example. Now remember, in order to find the nth term of an arithmetic sequence, we need two things, the first term and the common difference. So now that we have the common difference, we just need to calculate the first term. The third term is going to be the first term plus two common differences because 3 minus 1 is 2. The third term is 17. We don't know what the first term is, but we do know that the common difference is 7. So 2 times 7 is 14. If we subtract 14 from both sides, we can see that the first term is 17 minus 14, 
or 3. So now that we have the first term and the common difference, we can now calculate the 14th term of the arithmetic sequence using this formula. So n is 14 in this example, a sub 1 is 3, and d is 7. 14 minus 1 is 13. Now what's 13 times 7? Well, 10 times 7 is 70, 3 times 7 is 21. If you add 70 and 21, you're going to get 91. So the 14th term is going to be 3 plus 91, or 94. This is the answer to the problem. So hopefully this video gave you a good introduction into arithmetic sequences and how to find the nth term. This is the formula that you need in order to find the nth term of an arithmetic sequence. So remember, you need two things. You need to know the first term and the common difference. If you know those two things, you could find any term. You could find the value of any term in that arithmetic sequence.